Yes brother, Shay here. This video is specifically about what happens if we lose our erection when putting on a condom. So if you're experiencing that, perhaps you're in a moment of passion in intimacy with your date or partner, and then you go to reach for the condom and things go like this to like this very quickly. So if that is something you're experiencing and you just feel frustrated about this, you don't want it to happen anymore, then I invite you to stick around for these next few minutes. What I'm going to be sharing is four reasons as to why that happens, why it's normal for this to happen when we're experiencing forms of thoughts of performance anxiety. So we'll go into those. And why is it important that we do that? Because the alternative really is to be in this space of feeling pissed off about it, feeling frustrated about it. And then this leads to questions like, what if I can't get this right? What if I can't get hard? Why am I not normal? What's wrong with me? And these types of thoughts, you may relate to this, spill over into other areas of our life. It can get to the point where sometimes we even wake up feeling pretty shit about things. So that's the alternative. I believe that's not a space that you want to stay in if you're here watching this. So these four causes, if you like, that I'm about to give you help to normalize this, right? Help to understand that this is a normal thing to happen when experiencing performance anxiety. Because when we have a bit more context and information to understand it, we can then start to make sense of it. So it moves from feeling like I'm just pissed off about this to, oh, okay, I can see why that's happening. Now that takes us a step forward to be able to get it sorted. So let's jump straight in with number one. And that is quite simply, there's an additional focus going on, right? So already we're intensely focusing on our partner and speaking honestly, probably had thoughts before that moment of intimacy of, I've got to make sure I get this right. I, I can't mess up. Uh, what if I don't get hard? What if I can't stay hard? What if that thing happens again when I go to put the condom on, but I need to make it perfect for them. So the chances are you've already probably had some of these thoughts. And when it comes to the moment, there's this like intense focus of being in the zone. I've got to get it right. And then it goes to putting on a condom and it's a break in that focus, right? It's an additional focus that we have to uh, switch our mind onto that this is going on over here and then now there's also this thing and sometimes that's fine but when experiencing performance anxiety our focus tends to be a bit more intense right so we're more intensely focused on wanting the intimacy to go right and so then we don't have as much capacity to be able to like uh, intensely focus on other things at the same time we want to be just like laser focus onto one. So that's the first one, is that it requires additional focus. Second is that there's of course an interruption of arousal, right? Who, please tell me someone that said to you they love putting on a condom, they love that moment of putting on a condom. Not really, I don't think I've ever heard any guys say that. And because there's the thing of, first of all, I can't get the packet open, sometimes that can be really annoying. Then it's what way round is it going? Is it, have I taken it out the right way? Do I need to turn it around? Need to figure that out. And then of course, putting it on and making sure that that's done right. Do I put it on? Do they put it on? So it's not exactly the most sexy thing, is it putting on the condom, especially in that moment of intimacy. So there's this interruption of the arousal and it, honestly, it's interrupting it to do something that's quite, can be quite annoying fiddly. You know, I'm not saying don't wear a condom. I just want to make it clear that's not what I'm saying here. I'm saying it's about the process of doing it that is an interruption in arousal. The third one is that over time, we start to create a negative association with putting on a condom. So imagine that happens once, right? I'm in this amazing intimate moment. I reach for the condom, go through that thing of putting it on, and then it goes from hard to soft. That creates a negative imprint in my mind of when I reached for the condom, I remember this thing that happened before. So imagine that then happening a second time, a third time, a fourth time, and it stacks. And we create then this negative association with any time we go to reach for a condom, oh, our brain is saying, remember that thing that happened, don't want to go there again, because that caused a lot of pain and embarrassment last time. So we try and avoid that or in our minds, we're trying to block those kind of thoughts. And then the fourth one is it creates more self-doubt in the moment, 
right? So that only needs to happen once or a couple of times for us to then start having a complex around it and to create self-doubt of what if I can't get this right? Um, why am I like this? Those types of things that I shared at the beginning, right? So we can very easy, easily get into this cycle of shame, making ourselves bad, making ourselves wrong. So just to summarize what we've gone through there is the four reasons as to why it's normal when experiencing performance anxiety to lose our erection when reaching for a condom. Okay, there's four reasons there that show why it's normal for that to happen. There's definitely other reasons as well, but I think these are the four that stood out the most to me. Now, what to do about it? Right, first, as I said, the first step is understanding so that it makes more sense. So we move out of this frustration zone into more awareness of, okay, cool, right, I get why that's happening now. Of course, that's not the thing that gets it sorted. Now it's about getting the tools to be able to, because uh, it's not the condom that's causing performance anxiety, right? It's, the, it's not the condom that is making our uh, dick go from hard to soft. It's what's going on up here. So we have to get the tools to be able to get that sorted so that we don't even have those thoughts anymore and we can just enjoy pleasure and enjoy giving pleasure to our partners. So to do that, it's important to first understand what's causing this. So we know the condom's not causing it, but where is it coming from? To do that, I have developed something called the Performance Anxiety Assessment. This is 10 very easy yes or no questions that you answer. This will take you less than two minutes to complete. And then that will give you your score and also I will share with you a tool straight away that you can start using. So below in the comments, you'll see the link to that performance anxiety assessment. It's free. Click on that link. It will take you straight to the page where you answer the questions. That's step one. Step two is then answer those 10 yes or no questions. Step three, that's it. I will then send you your score plus the free tool. It's a mindset tool so that you can start getting this sorted and basically not have these thoughts during sex anymore. Okay, so head below, click on that link, and I'll see you at the quiz.